Hi everyone, this is Dr. Palacios and I am here to continue answering your questions regarding migraine headaches. So yesterday we defined what a migraine was in respect to the pain quality and how it manifests for the most part. And today we're going to continue that trend and we're gonna shift our focus a little bit on different kinds of headaches that could mimic a migraine. And in today's presentation, I wanna show you the following question. Which symptom or symptoms is or are most indicative of a tension headache? Tension type headaches are considered to be from 60 to 80% of all headache sufferers. They tend to have this kind. So I want to explore what a tension type headache is and then you'll see how it compares to a migraine quality. So one thing to keep in mind also is that when you have a headache, obviously they are annoying, frustrating because they're so debilitating, but you also have to think about that it's in a way necessary because that is your body's intelligence to communicate with you that something is wrong, something is off and you might wanna be able to check it out and not just suppress symptoms with painkillers and other things. So attention type headache works very well with this principle because there tends to be a mental or a psychogenic component in what we call some type of mental stress. And then we can also connect it to the neuromuscular system, which is your nerves and your muscles. I'll give you an example. You may be in a focus mode at work, say working in an office, and your eyes are straight working, looking at the screen, your shoulders are forward, your back is a little bit forward too, and you're there for the next four hours before your lunch break, or even more than, longer than that if you skip your lunch break. So that's going to lead to some problems. So that kind of tension is going to accumulate and it could trigger muscle complaints. And it doesn't have to be the head, but it could start from your back, from your shoulders, which are connected to the muscles of your head. And if the muscles are connected, the muscles are affected, and then your nerves are gonna be affected and you're gonna be triggering a, a headache. So it all starts from one original position. Unlike a migraine, tension headaches do not have a family history. This tends to be mostly from our habits and patterns of positioning. But there are five qualities that we have to be aware of. So let's start with number one. They are dull in nature, which means that they are, in, they are aching and they tend to be on concentrated on the scalp, so on the top of your head, the skin on your head, on the sides of the temples right here, and sometimes even your shoulders. And there are some people that even the slightest touch is gonna trigger and it's going to increase the pain severity. So that's number one. Number two, it is diffuse on both sides or what we call a bilateral kind of pain. So if you can think of it, it's a type of crushing pain and it's just concentrated on both sides. So think of it like a bear trying to hug your head and it just keeps crushing it. That's how some people have described their tension headaches to feel like. Number three, the duration can be from days to weeks. And now this brings us to another form of classification of tension headaches. You can have infrequent, episodic, or chronic. Infrequent tension headaches, they happen maybe once in a blue moon, and then they're gone, and that's all. You may have an episodic tension headache, which could happen more often, and you kind of have a pattern from that. Maybe you get it once a week, around the same time. And then chronic tension headaches, they can, these kinds of headaches can last for weeks. And obviously they're not severely intense the whole time. They can 
get lower in pain and then increase. So it's like a wave. Number four, the headache is not worse from physical activities, unlike a migraine where you can't perform any physical activities or chores. And number five, you may have photophobia or phonophobia. As you remember from migraines, phonophobia is the inability to stand loud noises and photophobia is the inability to stand bright lights. It isn't common that people who suffer tension headaches have that, but some of them could. It is, after all, a classified symptom. So keep this in mind that now that I mentioned the classifications and types of pain in tension headaches, there are some qualities that correlate with migraine headaches. And this is why I have to reiterate and repeat, don't self-diagnose because you could get it wrong. You need a professional to help you out and find the correct type of treatment. In a naturopathic tenant of first to no harm, you need to make sure that you're safe. First of all, that no harm is being done. However, on the other hand, if you do wanna to start to know about your headaches, you could keep a track in a journal. And the journal is going to help you know your triggers, know the patterns, and even know your foods or environmental factors that you may not notice could, that could be contributing them, or it even could be on a stressful day. It does happen that a stressful time can lead to a tension headache. Actually, it's actually very common. And also it's a win-win because the moment you see a doctor, they're most likely going to ask you to do a headache journal, to keep a headache journal for your own homework and your own information. So it really is a win-win. All right, so I hope you've learned something today. And if you enjoy the video, please consider giving it a like or subscribe here on the channel so you can continue seeing more great videos and questions that people come up with. Thank you so much and have a great rest of your day.